Hello. My name is Pastor Jordan Lauks. I'm Associate Pastor at First United Methodist Church, and I just wanted to let you all know what's going on this FYI Friday at First United Methodist Church. First of all, I'd like to invite you to come to worship on Sunday um, at 8.30, 9.45, and 1101. We have worship in person and online, and we're continuing in our Joined by Hope sermon series. And so I know that this is maybe like one of the first big uh, weekends of summer, Memorial Day weekend. So we do, let's, maybe you're at, you're at the lake, I invite you to take advantage of that online worship. So 8.30, 9.45, 11.01, join us in worship this Sunday. Also this summer, uh, we're going to continuing with our outreach, our uh, mission opportunities to go work with one of our teams, both at Feeding South Dakota Food Distributions, we'll have them on the first Wednesdays. You also volunteer with Night Watch, Habitat for Humanity, and the banquet. And so there are just many different opportunities to get involved in one of these teams and just serve this summer. So I invite you to also take advantage of that this summer. And also, I'd just like to take a moment um, to just reflect and pray about what has happened um, earlier this week on Tuesday in Uvalde, um, Texas, where 19 children and two adults were um, killed in, while they were going to school. And I'm sure you are aware of that and how horrifying that is. And yet, a week before that, there was also another mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, at a grocery store as well. And so there is just a lot of um, gun violence in the news right now, and it's just a very um, hard situation right now. And our hearts grieve and mourn for them. And so I just wanted to take the opportunity to pray um, for the families and just pray for how we may be able to respond. So, will you pray with me? We're gracious and loving God. We just lift up our hearts to you as we remember and mourn with um, the families who have lost their beloved children in Uvalde. Those 19 kids that are no longer home. Those teachers that defended those kids in the midst of the horror that happened that day. Pray for the, the people in Buffalo, the families that are grieving the loss of their loved ones too. And we just ask for your love and peace to be with them in the midst of this horrifying tragedy as they bury their children, their parents, their loved ones. And gracious God, help us, help us to turn this violence into something productive. Help us to find a way to overcome it, to do what is needed, to change the status quo of shooting after shooting, so that we can imagine not only praying that prayer that Jesus taught on earth as it is in heaven, but imagine how it can come to be in this regard, that no longer parents should bury their children from gun violence. Help also God to have the strength and courage to do what is necessary to find a solution to this. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's peace be with you.